In today's video, we will be exploring a comparison of traffic, transportation, air quality, internet, people, cost of living, communication, safety, and much more. This essential information will help anybody who is thinking of living in Manila or Bangkok. So let's dive into our first category, which is people. As both cities are capitals, there are a large number of working professionals. I've spoken to many locals outside of Manila and Bangkok, and the majority always advise me that the locals of the capital are less friendly. I don't believe this is always the case, but what is clear to see is that life in the city can be very busy, so it's often a different lifestyle for locals. But when you get to know the locals, they are just as welcoming and friendly as anybody else. What you may notice is that there are many foreigners and international businesses that have bases in Manila and Bangkok and therefore communication with foreigners is often more common in the capital which brings us to the next area of interest which is English. In Asia the Philippines is the second leading country of English proficiency slightly behind Singapore. Therefore expats like me and you living in Manila will not have any difficulty with communication. Unfortunately Unfortunately, Thailand is not the strongest English proficiency country, but levels of English are much higher in Bangkok than in the majority of other places in Thailand. With both capitals, it is unlikely that you will run into any communication problems. In the event of speaking to someone who does not understand English, there is always another local nearby who is happy to help. The next category is traffic and transportation. Manila has been referred to as the worst traffic in the world on numerous occasions. But the transportation authorities have attempted to ease traffic in multiple ways over the years. Still, there are also other options available such as a Jepney or ordering a private taxi on the Grab app. Bangkok's traffic is also a leading problem for locals. In Bangkok, the BTS system saves a great deal of time, but unfortunately, if you are traveling by taxi, you may find yourself stuck in traffic for many hours during the peak times. Next, we have air quality. The air quality in Thailand is a big topic, but to summarize, the air quality is not the best, but in certain times, the air quality can be unbearable. On an average day in Bangkok, the air quality ranges between between good to moderate, with some days being categorized as unhealthy for sensitive groups. Manila's air quality is very similar to that of Bangkok. But what about the internet? If you host live streams, watch YouTube videos, or play games, you will not have any difficulties with the internet strength of Bangkok. However, multiple devices can slow down the connection considerably. The internet in the Philippines is not as strong as it is in Thailand, and you may find different internet strengths depending on which condominium or apartment you are located in. However, you should be able to do many things on the internet, such as video conferences. Another significant category is the cost of living. In Bangkok, there are many affluent areas, such as those found along Sukhumvit Road. But outside of the city, prices for accommodation can be found much lower. The price also decreases outside of the affluent areas of Manila. However, you may find prices slightly higher in Manila. For example, if we was to compare a 30 square meter condominium, one in Bangkok and one in Manila, both with very similar facilities, and similar neighborhoods, we will often find that the cost is higher in Manila. This is not to say that living in Manila is more expensive because you may be able to find a great deal that is more suitable for your lifestyle. But on average, Bangkok is more cost effective in the long term. However, some comparison data suggests that on average, Bangkok is between four to eight percent more expensive than Manila. Next is a category of safety. In general, both cities are relatively safe. However, the statistics differ depending on the crime and the location. For example, some parts of Manila historically have a higher than average crime rate, such as Quezon City. Over the years, we have seen an increase in the rise of online scams, and this looks to continue as we look into the future. Most visits, however, are completely trouble-free. It is unlikely that you will run into any serious difficulty when living in Manila or Bangkok. 
Nonetheless, it always pays to be vigilant, especially on the topic of petty crime. So the ultimate question is Manila versus Bangkok, which is best? Manila has a Western flair, which can be very attractive to foreigners who wish to live in Asia. Bangkok is slightly less Western, but it is an ever-growing city, which is very modern and has lots of benefits. Personally speaking, I believe that the Philippines has more areas outside of Manila that are more suitable for foreigners. Therefore, my vote would go to Bangkok. However, comparing country by country, I would have to say that the Philippines has more benefits and offers a unique style of living.